I'm going to ask you all next a question about uh, something the current First Minister's described as the Scottish Government's most ambitious project, the National Care Service. Um, and I'm going to ask Tracy McBurney, um, Tracy, if she is there, uh, to ask that question, please. Hi, Tracy McBurney, Unison activist um, in health, Edinburgh Eastern member. I'm sure all the candidates would agree that we need to maximise the benefit of all of our public sector spending. But STUC's report, Profiting from Care, shows the most profitable care home providers extract £28 in every £100 they receive in the form of profits, rent, payment to the directors, and interest payments on loans. The figure is less than £4 for not-for-profit care homes. What will the candidates commit to do to remove profiteering and ensure we have a genuinely not-for-profit national care service? <laughs> for me, that's a great question. So uh, I maybe won't go into the whole answer in the national care service because you've maybe seen what I've said around the fact that we need to pause. And the reason why we need to pause is if I'm First Minister is to intensively engage with our trade union colleagues, our local government colleagues too, and also those that most importantly have lived experience of care, because actually all of those groups uh, from my, uh, uh, well certainly uh, trade unions and Unison, I think I'm correct in saying, actually believe in the principle of the National Care Service. It's just they have challenges with the actual bill. And the biggest challenge they have with the bill is around uh, employment and staff and keeping them employed at local government level. I genuinely think there's a compromise there to be found where we have a National Care Service but we keep the staff locally employed, local co-design and local delivery. So I'll just say that uh, in that uh, vein. And uh, you look, uh, you're giving me a puzzling look, I'll explain uh, what I mean by that, is the National Care Service can still have a national framework. And at the heart of that national framework has to be a few things. Fair work principles, that's actually literally on the face of the bill, but fair work principles. Sectoral bargaining. And for me, really importantly, in the heart of your question is ethical commissioning. We have to make sure that those involved in care are not gleaming profits that end up in the Cayman Islands. You know, we should be making sure that is an ethical framework around uh, commissioning. Now, there's some restrictions around that in terms of the powers that we have, but we should be pushing that as far as we possibly can. I don't want to see people profiteering uh, from uh, care. I want the best care models. I, I, I've spoken to every single health and social care partnership in the country, every single local authority uh, in the country. And you know who does the best when it comes to tackling delayed discharge and providing care? Those that have local in-house provision, those that work with the third sector. Uh, and and, and where is the most challenging? The biggest challenge, for example, we have is in Edinburgh, where it's almost virtually all privatised. So ethical commissioning will remain at the heart of the National Care Service. So, Hamza, just to be very, very clear on that, do you think there's a role at all for profit in the social care? So I, think, I, I think the private sector at the moment, because I don't think we could turn from the current model we have to a national care service without private companies uh, being involved at this stage. I would like it to be, because uh, the national care service is going to take some time, quite frankly, uh, to be absolutely fully operational. Um, so I think we want to get to a place where we have in-house provision, where we have third sector uh, provision. What I'm talking about with ethical commissioning uh, is those principles around actually, well, those companies that shareholders are uh, putting money into tax havens like the Cayman Islands. That's, for me, the first step around ethical commissioning. Okay, that's clear. Thank you. 